It's about time that we had a woman uh, come forward uh, to shape the story in a galaxy far, far away. In another sign that the Star Wars universe is doomed, the newly anointed director for the upcoming Rey movie that no one asked for is saying the Force is going to get even more female focused than it already has been for the past 10 years being run by a female CEO, the CEO of Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy, having a main character that was female for the first new sequel trilogy with Rey and having a female general in Princess Leia who was the strongest Force user in the entire galaxy at one moment so we have a, a very female centric universe already what she's saying is making absolutely no sense but only if she hasn't seen any Star Wars and that seems to be the case with this newly appointed director she's known as Sharmeen Obad Chinoy a Pakistani feminist rights activist who's done a lot of great work with some documentaries focused on the inequality within Pakistan and Muslim communities when it comes to female rights and just rights in general for a lot of human beings in that area and some of the, the horror stories they actually inflict on some uh, women in those uh, countries and I think she does an excellent work with that type of material but when you're coming to star wars we're not focused on that type of material we're focused on sci-fi fantasy epic cases of the hero's journey displayed in cinema screens across the world we're looking for something uh, beyond our fantasies and what she's speaking about when it comes to star wars is coming from a person who's a complete novice to the universe and i think this is something we've been clearly seeing with disney when choosing directors for f historic franchises or properties like marvel like Star Wars or like some of these Disney fairy tale movies they're choosing people that don't care about the source material don't care about the property that they're working on and are coming with their own political ideology no matter how supportive you are of some of her ideology it has no place in Star Wars it doesn't have a priority in Star Wars and I think what she's bringing to Star Wars is probably ultimately gonna doom it and I think a lot of people online are saying the same thing with some of her statements where she's saying there are no female heroes heroes in Star Wars when Star Wars has been heavily built upon the backs of a lot of female heroism a lot of powerful female leads we're talking about a Star Wars that had uh, Princess Leia shooting guns side by side Luke Skywalker we're talking about Star Wars that Queen Padme who was in the the prequel trilogy fighting alongside Anakin Skywalker we had all these characters Rey who had three sequel trilogy movies where she was the most powerful person in the universe and, uh, and we're not even mentioning General Mon Mothma from the original trilogy that was the general of the rebel forces we had so much strong women in this universe and we're not including rebels Ahsoka that just recently released which was all female dominated whether the villains or the hero sides with Sabine Wren Ahsoka the general there as well and what do you talk about this is a female franchise something that has been morphed into even more of a female franchise than it already was with the, the original trilogy when they already had a strong character like princess leia leading the rebel forces so it is a strange concept where she's saying it's finally going back to the the women to lead star wars or it's, it's finally a new take to have a, a woman in lead of star wars and i guess you can refer this to her being a director but when you're looking at that there's plenty of female directors bryce dallas howard deborah chow uh, with the mandalorian and obi-wan kenobi even though those tv shows have successes in their film failures those are female-led properties everything is being female-led right now i'm like what are you talking about you're not the first of anything this is not a revolutionary moment you're just here to direct a movie and make a good movie but no it's already a political farce of a showing right now and this director who absolutely has no idea about star wars is trying to to make something groundbreaking in a world that it isn't groundbreaking this is not something new this is something tried and true since the original trilogy for star wars so her saying it's about time that we had a woman come forward to shape the story a woman has been shaping the story for the past 10 years of course in a way that was leading to failure but she's been shaping the story i'm talking about lucasfilm president kathleen kennedy she's been shaping the story that's why you have a job here so the just the the complete ignorance of 
this person it just shows their overall lack of understanding of star wars they don't know what's happening with star wars they probably never seen star wars and they probably only have a, a surface level understanding of it they still think luke skywalker is the lead luke skywalker has been gone forever and, and and the leads have been predominantly women and that is probably the choice here and it's probably gonna lead to a lot less sales and interest in the movie if it already hasn't happened already and i think that is the case here and we're seeing this in the article where she's just kind of loose out of her mind with this topic and it clearly shows the people that hired her really didn't care about her understanding of star wars they just probably wanted her ideas of influence and politics to be injected into this movie and this is just a purely bad sign for anyone that's a star wars fan if you know anything about marvel properties where they're hiring these activist documentarians or uh, political activists to direct tv shows we saw that with miss marvel and she was a director on miss marvel some of the worst episodes this director of ray we have these activist directors that are coming in that have no skills for action that have no skills for telling an actual hero's journey story or story in general that is attractive to the general audience and you create these hodgepodge terrible tv shows or movies that with the marvels they hired an activist director for that and they had to reshoot it eight times same thing with captain and the winter soldier they hired an activist director who doesn't know how to direct and now they have to reshoot the entire movie probably spending over hundreds of millions of dollars so this lack of bringing in quality talent and only focused on casting the director based on their politics it is leading to bigger budgets and bigger failures for hollywood and i wonder how much longer can they sustain this kind of superfluous hiring process where they're not focused on talent and budgetary concerns and i think this director here you're gonna be prepared for a lot more reshoots because they don't know how to direct an action scene let alone a regular speaking scene this is a documentarian so they don't have a concept of drawing a story through pictures they're just there to, to document a situation and it's a different process in its entirety so this is just another reflection on the poor management of a star wars and lucasfilm from Kathleen Kennedy where she destroyed the sequel trilogy with her overt focus on uh, this female narrative instead of a, a story driven narrative and we have this ending up with some of the, the worst Star Wars movies and probably uh, a lesser and lesser box office return that led to the abysmal failure of Solo after the release of the last Star Wars movie and I think this is a subsequent situation that we're seeing with a lot of franchises across Hollywood and she herself Shabim uh, Chinoy she's going to be another victim of that situation where people are choosing politics over talent and Kathleen Kennedy is doing the same with this latest Star Wars movie but for me it's going to be quite interesting to see how bad this movie comes out it's going to be a big failure at least in my projections but uh, a lot of people are looking forward to that failure because they want to see Star Wars end in a, a miserable way because Kathleen Kennedy has destroyed it, the essence uh, of Star Wars. But uh, it is interesting to see this director speak out on this situation. I never really expected any great things from her. But like I said before, we have so much female characters in Star Wars. I'm thinking, how much more female? Do you just want to eliminate all the men? If you wanted to do that, just say that. Uh, don't, you don't have to c come up with this front of being an activist for women. No, you just say you hate men and you want to eliminate them from Star Wars, even though you probably never even watched Star Wars in the first place. But you tell me your thoughts on the situation. What do you think about Star Wars? Oh, yeah, I even forgot. Acolyte is already a super feminist-led property so it's just it this person doesn't know what they're talking about but anyways you tell me what you think about the situation like share and subscribe do you think star wars is doomed to failure with this director i think obviously so but we had kathleen kennedy for 10 years so it was already written in the stars that star wars is over but leave your thoughts like share and subscribe this is wagner knows why catch you next time